What is up, YouTube? It's Baseball Geek 31, and welcome to the very first gameplay episode of MLB 15, the show's Diamond Dynasty, here on the channel. As we're getting ready to get into a game here, the New York Mets, which is my Diamond Dynasty team, is getting ready to take on a fair new opponent. Now, going into the game, I saw that this guy had a very solid lineup. So, once this decides it wants to load, you see my rotation. And I'm not going to give it away who my pitcher was, but there he is. Mr. Tom Seaver. As he's going to get Carlos Gomez to strike out in his first at bat on a drop third strike, which was a ball in the dirt. So, a good job there from Tom Seaver. And the next batter is going to be Jose Reyes. He's going to throw him a curveball down and in, and it's going to hit him in the foot. So that's going to put Reyes on first, so a great speedy guy at first. And then Prince Fielder is going to hit a ball to the gap. Hayward's going to cut it off and get it in as quick as he can. Fielder will move up to second, but Reyes will stop at third. So it's second and third with only one out. As... Carlos Santana will step in now. He hits the ball up the middle. Reyes will score easily. Hayward's throw to the plate will not be in time, obviously, since Reyes scored, but they held, fe they held fe Fielder at third. And Wright's throw to the plate on that grounder is going to get Fielder at the plate. So there's two outs now and only one, only one run on the board. Next batter in is going to be Matt Carpenter, and he's going to hit... Uh, dribble it out to the catcher and Piazza just overthrows him and the throw to second will be in time but not before the run scores as the Mets give up an unearned run there and it hurts Tom Seaver so the wizard Ozzie Smith is up in the top in the bottom of the first and the second baseman dropped it and Ozzie's able to get up to second with his great speed 0-2 now to Jose Altuve he's gonna hit a dribbler out to the pitcher Sonny Gray and he'll toss one over Prince Fielder to retire Altuve. Over to the top of the second. Seaver gets Sonny Gray swinging on three straight fastballs to retire the side in the top, in the top of the second. To start the bottom of the second, David Wright's going to walk on four pitches. Matt Holliday will hit a grounder to second. He throws on to short for one and on to first for the double play. That ends the inning. We move on to the top of the third. Carlos Gomez hits one to the first baseman, Jeff Bagwell. He'll step on the bag for the out. Now, the only reason I didn't cut this inning is you'll see in a second as Jose Reyes hits a curveball onto the wizard Ozzie Smith. The throw onto first is in time to retire Reyes. So there's two pitches. Now Prince Fielder's up. They gave him a fastball. Actually, I'm sorry, that was a changeup. A dribble out to the Piat to the catcher Piazza and the throw on to first is in time and it was a three pitch inning. So the bottom of the third with one out, Jason Hayward stands in and that ball's hit over the right fielder's head and Hayward could fly so he's going to be running for days out there as Hayward will pull into third with a one out triple and the Mets are in business but they could not get him to score and then Tom Seaver in the top of the fourth gets Matt Wieters to ground out right back to him and he flips on to first to retire the side. Now to start the bottom of the fourth, Mike Piazza stands in and he hits one deep to left. That one could go. If it doesn't, it's going to be off the monster and it is off the monster. Piazza rounds second. I don't know what the center fielder thought he was doing and he rounds third. He's heading for the plate and it's an inside the park home run for the legend Mike Piazza. Jeff Bagwell is the next hitter, and he hits one deep to the gap in right center. That's going to get down up against the wall for extra bases, and he's going to pull in at second with a double. Matt Holliday is the next to stand in with two outs. He hits one up the middle. Bagwell is going to try to score. Holliday is going to move up to second. Bagwell beats the throw. Holliday will move to second on the throw. So Holliday drives in the Mets' third run. Seaver tries to help himself, but he strikes out and leaves Holiday on third after a pass ball. Now that one's hit deep to right field to start the fifth. Holiday goes back and makes a spectacular play at the wall. 
And then it'll be... I, Billy Hamilton, I believe, that strikes out. Sonny Gray will then step in and hit a grounder to Jose Altuve at second. He will throw on to Jeff Bagwell to retire the side. So it's three to two through five, through four and a half innings. Jose Altuve hits one over to Jose Reyes at short, and he's gonna beat that one out with his great speed, and Altuve's on first. And Altuve will steal second easily after there was a delayed throw. Altuve's going again. Piazza hits one towards the hole, and they're gonna try to go for Altuve at the plate, but Altuve will get back, and Piazza is also safe, so everybody's safe. Jeff Bagwell then steps in, and that's going to be a ball in the dirt. Altuve will score. Piazza, who was running on the pitch, moves up to third. And the Mets have a 4-2 lead now. Bagwell on the very next pitch will pop one up to the catcher, Weeters, and he will make the play to retire the side. On to the top of the six, two outs now. Prince Fielder up at the plate, and he's going to hit one of the gap in right center. That's going to be their very first hit since the first inning. Hayward gets it in quick. Fielder, for some unknown reason, rounds second. Wright gets it quickly back to uh, to Ozzie Smith, and then will tag out Prince Fielder to retire the side. We move on to the top of the seventh now with two outs. Matt Carpenter will fly one out to Hayward in center, and he will settle under it and make the catch to retire the side in the seventh. Hayward now will come up to the plate with one out in the seventh. He hits one through the hole. That's going to be a base hit. They're going to try to get him at first, but it's not in time as Hayward beats it. Ozzie Smith will now step in, and Ozzie dribbles one back to the pitcher, Benoit. He hits one, and they'll throw to second for the force, but Ozzie easily beats the throw to first. After Ozzie Smith steals second, Jose Altuve will ground out to short, and that will retire the side in the bottom of the seventh. Top of the eighth now, Seaver gets him to fly out to Matt, to Matt Holliday and right. And we're going to move on to the bottom of the eighth. Mike Piazza hits one to the, to the hole. It's short. Reyes delays the throw, and Piazza beats it. After Piazza stole second, he'll go and steal third as well. Cliff Floyd then hits one deep to right, and that's going to get over Gomez's head, and Piazza will score easily, and Cliff Floyd will stand in at second with an RBI double. Michael Kadire comes up to pinch hit for Matt Holliday. The throw to the plate that time is in time to get Floyd, and that'll retire the side in the bottom of the eighth. Carlos Gomez stands in at the ninth. He grounds one up the middle. It's going to be a base hit, and that'll be the end of the day for Tom Seaver as the closer, Jerry's Familia, will come in now. And he strikes out Jose Reyes, but the throw to second to get Gomez is not in time. So there's one out. Prince Fielder hits one deep to the gap in the left center. Hayward makes the catch. Gomez did not tag up, and he has to run back, and the throw to second is in time, and that'll end the game as my New York Mets get the victory 5-2. to two. And it was a great game for Mike Piazza as he had four hits, an inside-the-park home run, and a bunch of steals. Let's see if we got anything afterwards. We see Jose Bautista up there, so we're hoping maybe we can get him back for free. And no, we get Citizens Bank Park. So we're going to add another ballpark. But that's going to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this first gameplay. Drop me a like if you did. Subscribe to me. If